help them back. So I just drive. And I'm over here in Hearst sitting at a Walmart waiting for somebody to wait for my rider to come back up. And, uh, well, today somebody tried to scam me. I, I had this pickup at some apartments. And as soon as I was on my way down there, uh, they they sent me a message telling me, call your customer before you pick him up or something. And they were trying to make me think it was Lyft. And uh, so then I got down there and I called the number and uh, they actually, okay, it was a woman's name and then there was a man that answered the phone and he, uh, he said, this uh, this is the, this ride has the wrong address on it, uh, so we're going we're going to cancel the ride for you. So they're trying to make it sound like they were Lyft. They didn't identify themselves as Lyft. They they try to they thought I would assume it was. And then uh, they said they said uh, but before before we do that we have to we have to. Uh, Confirm your phone number. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Do not give out your phone number. They're trying to uh, hack your account. So if you get anything like this, just do not, do not fall for it. Cancel the ride. Hang up on them. And turn the app off so you don't get any rides. And then contact Lyft. Hit that thing in there that says uh, issue with rider. Rider was unsafe. And then go to. It's going to give you the choice. Most of the time, depending on how much support they have, it'll give you the choice to call. That they'll call you. Do that one. Have them call you. Talk to somebody on the phone. Tell them what happened. And they will say, you did the right thing. This was a scam. We're going to investigate it. And here's your $5 cancellation fee. So, anyway, that's what I did. I got my money. And uh, everything's good. All right, have a nice day. I'll talk to you soon. Hit that like and subscribe and that bell.